Hello everyone, I'm going to make a cake today, so I am mixing some red with a tiny bit of white. I'm rolling that out and I'm rolling out a piece of white clay as well. And I am going to cut them into size like you see me do here. Um, and then I am going to layer them into this uh, rolled up cake. I don't know what that's called in English. Uh, here it is a rollel. So, uh, Yep, that's the name for it in Danish. So I cut the red piece out a bit longer than the white piece. And then I'm just starting from one end off and rolling it really nice and tight together. Take your time with this so it looks uh, right when it's all done. When I get to the other end, I make sure that I don't see any of the white on the outside of the cake. Just roll it a bit and cut off the ends of this little cake. Now it is time for texturing. Some tools have this cool uh, pattern here on the grip and I'm using that to make some textures on the bottom. This one is a very cool texturing mold. I just use some mold putty over a rough sandpaper and that's all there is to it and it's giving the cakes some really cool texturing. Then I'm using a peppercorn, something that easy to roll over the top layer of the cake and making the more rough indents in the texture that this cake will have. It's a very easy way to make some cool textures on cakes and other things, so you should try it out. Just a normal peppercorn. It's very easy. I'm using my needle tool to make some texture here in the ends of the cakes uh, and I'm only doing that on the red part so I'm just scratching into the clay and I'm only doing it in the red part of the clay uh, and do it in both ends otherwise it will look weird when you're all done. And here I have my icing for the cake. It is just female liquid mixed up with some white clay. More liquid than clay and it makes this uh, icing texture thing. And if it's too thick you can always pour in more female liquid like I do here. Mix it good and well and then you can use it for the icing on the cake. Now it's time to decorate the cake. I'm using the icing and placing it here at the ends, just on the white parts. And I do that in both ends of the cake. I did that in both ends of my cake and now it's time for the top decorations. So I'm just going to take quite a lot of this and place on the cake and just place it out where I want it on the cake. And you can do this just as you feel like. Uh, I wanted to have a really big blob of icing on there. So I just placed a lot of it. If you have leftovers of icing, you can just put it back into the box where you had it. Remember, if you put it into a plastic container, the container needs to be of a soft plastic because these hard type plastic, they will uh, have a chemical reaction with soft clay. Just have that in mind. Let's do the decoration now. Here I have some leaves uh, that I'm going to place and I did place a few of these candy canes first. I am using different kind of decorations here for the cakes that I have uh, made earlier. So I'm going to leave a link for all the decorations that I used here if you want to try to make them yourself.
and here we have the done result and I uh, not good um, let's clean that up and get it into the oven before I ruin it totally don't do that with your cakes please when the cake have cooled down I'm just using some Fimo glaze and I'm just glazing the decoration and the uh, icing here on the cake not the red part but everything else that's all there is for this little cake. Thank you for watching. Please give my video a like if you liked it. Happy crafting!